Hey yo, what is going on guys, DBZ Man of Cyan here, and so I have watched episode 3 of the Book of Boba Fett, and man, what a, what a good episode. So, again, that I know I was supposed to be doing breakdowns, I will get caught up as soon as I can, I swear, I promise. I just need, I need time, I kinda got a little busy, but hopefully this week I'll be able to get both of them out for 2 and 3. Cause you can't skip one, you kinda just can't, you can't do that. But anyway, so... That's besides the point. So, I watched the book of Boba Fett episode 3, so not spoilers for a little bit. Really good episode. It has me looking forward to the next episode. Like, it's a it's a building block episode. It really has, it has me looking forward to the next episode. It was really uh, interesting. Got to see a lot of uh, development. And, yeah. It's just, it's really interesting. And it's got me, it's got me hooked. It's not a lie. It's got me hooked and I'm looking forward to... I mean, it already had me at the beginning, but it's got me looking forward to the next episode. I'm real. It's starting to. Oh boy, it's starting to get. It's starting to get interesting. But so that's it. Really good episode. I highly recommend you go watch it. Uh, and that's kind of it for the non-spoiler. Uh, go check it out. All right, now on to the spoilers. Book of Boba Fett. Uh, again, amazing episode. I thought it was really good. Um, let's talk about it for a little bit. Uh, so, Boba Fett. We got, so we already got the Wookiee, we already know, he's already the, or, hey, I'm all over the place, let's start at the beginning. So we get to see Boba Fett, you know, chilling on his throne, uh, gets bothered by, what's his name, like, one of the people there just, the water, I guess he sells water at a hefty price? Sheesh. He, so we, he sells water at a hefty price and it's telling Boba that he has complaints and that nobody respects Boba because he's, does, does nothing or he hasn't done anything of note yet so we have this guy just come in talk about how he's got these modified biker gang bothering him boba goes to confront this biker gang here's what the uh says that they owe him money so he says he'll offer them work i honestly thought he was gonna like go down like it was about to go down when he saw that biker gang. that biker gang, like he was i felt like he was about to like fight them they the fear you could see the fear in their eyes when he got close at least that one chick with the robot arm they had a bunch of just cybernetic enhancements they oh they cyberpunked themselves then he finds out like the water prices were atrocious so he said so he gave the market man coins and took them as hires and i as hires we got to fight see boba fight Dark Chrysanthemum, that was sick. They even said his name. I was like, or Dark Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum. I was like, yeah, they said his name. So it's official, even though we already knew. But yay. Which he body Boba. They all, he almost killed Boba. Man took him out of his back to tank. And would Boba tried to fight him in a wet diaper. <laughs> it was kind of funny. But yep, and then he fell down into a pit. Into the Ranker pit after their fight. So that was neat. Uh, what else? Oh, yes, we have a flashback of Boba with dealing with the pikes. So they were pikes. I wasn't crazy. They were pikes. And how he said he's going to deal with them. That the biker gang. Apparently, pikes were dealing with, like, two people. So he goes to deal with the biker gang. Apparently, this biker gang kills the the sand people. The Tuscan Raiders that he was with were all slob. They were killed. And that was... Man, they were... That was heart wrenching. They're just gone. Even even the little kid he formed a little bond with. All of them are just they're dead. They're gone. And he burnt them all, and now is probably going on revenge, which we'll probably see in his in a flashback for next episode of him going on revenge to kill that biker gang. So yeah, no, they're all gone. Uh, the huts come to bother him. Apparently, they they leave too. They give him a ranker, and my boy Machete shows up. Let's go, Machete. I mean, I saw it on Twitter. It was a tweet they posted saying that he was going to be in it. So that was cool. And he got a Rancor. The Huts were like, yo, we're sorry. That, so here's this Wookiee as contribution, and here's a Rancor. He got a new Rancor, which Boba Fett got along with very well. Apparently, they left him just because uh, the mayor already laid claim to the area. He laid claim to the area, and the Huts were like, we don't want war. It's bad for business. So they just dipped. Then Boba's just looking after the mayor, uh, talks to his, uh, Major Domo. Major Domo avoids the whole question entirely. They have a chase, 
And then they crash, and then he finds out that he's going to deal with the Pikes, which Boba knows a lot about. And then that's pretty much it. The episode ends when they said we're going to have to deal with these Pikes, because then it looks like I'm about to go to war. So that's why I'm saying, like, it's about to go down, and I'm looking very forward to it. This episode had was just a building block episode, really. It was just getting you ready for what's about to happen, which is great. I know probably some people will be like, ee, with this episode, but it, it's doing its job, and it's preparing you for... It's, it's the setup episode. You gotta, you gotta have it. Some people are like boring, but yeah, I gotta have that setup. Excuse me. You gotta have that setup episode. All in all, really good episode. Very looking forward to it. Um, or, or sorry, very looking forward to the next episode. Uh, just all in all, really good episode. I enjoyed it. God, it makes me want the next episode to come out so much sooner just because it it's about to go down. I really want to see what happens. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, so I will try and get those breakdown videos out as soon as I can. I'm still gonna. I'm still keeping on. I am going to work on those breakdown videos. I will. I want to. They're really cool, um, and I have a lot of fun doing them. I just need time. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, be sure to blast the like button as you. And hey, if you enjoy the content on my content channel, continue, consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification because I do upload daily. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. DBC Mando, signing off.